What we're demonstrating here is part of NASA's Advanced Composites Project. We are looking at how we increase the speed to do inspections on composite structures. We want to fully inspect an aircraft fuselage before it leaves the manufacturer to make sure that any manufacturing defects that may occur during the building of the part don't find their way out into the flying vehicles. What we're able to do with this technology is to do that rapidly and to make sure that we have full coverage long before those defects would become critical. We've got a collaborative robot and we've got an infrared inspection system that's doing an inspection on the inside right now of this aircraft fuselage. A collaborative robot is a little different than a normal robot in that it's got all of the safety features built right into the robot. You can work close to it without having to have a safety exclusion zone that people stay out of while you're doing the inspection. That allows multiple things to be going on on the aircraft at the same time, whether you use multiple robots or whether other work is taking place on the aircraft while the inspection is being done. By having uh, the robot programmed to a certain inspection pattern, you can do two things. First of all, you can develop an efficient means of inspecting, making sure that you're covering the area that you need to inspect in an efficient manner as quickly as possible. The other thing it allows you to do is to make sure you haven't missed any areas. One of the nice things about this robot is that in the computer, before you actually start moving the robot, you can develop the inspection pattern. You use a solid model of the fuselage or whatever structure you're inspecting. You have a solid model of the robot and the inspection tool on the end, in this case the infrared inspection system. And within the computer, you develop the path that you're going to go, you develop each of the inspection sites, you test to make sure that's the most efficient path, and that the robot can make all the moves that you need to make. And then when you come out to the fuselage, it's very simple to just download that program to the robot, and it now follows the path that you've pre-programmed. If we were to use people to do the same inspection, it would take three or four individuals. It's very difficult to move the infrared inspection system around by hand and get uniform coverage of the whole part. The robot can do that all by itself with just an operator. The robot will move the inspection head to each location that's been programmed in. It will stop there and it's got sensors that allow it to make sure that it doesn't impact the surface of the vehicle. It can move to an exact location and then it can hold it there indefinitely. Once it's positioned, we'll send a signal to the computer. The computer will then trigger the inspection system, uh, fire the flash lamps and acquire the, the temperature data that tells us about what's going on inside the structure. And then it will send a signal back to the robot to move to the next location. You could make it do the entire inspection of the fuselage as long as it's within the reach of the robot. The inspection process consists of putting a very short pulse of heat on the surface. So you see a flash of light and then we watch how that heat flows into the part as it cools back down and as the heat flows in, it interacts with any defects or any substructure that may be in the part and it allows us to tell what's going on inside the structure without damaging. The initial goal is just to show that we can do as good a job or better than we can do manually using the robotic system with less labor involved. The long-term goal would be to allow this to be integrated into a manufacturing environment where the fuselages are being made without a lot of additional cost to the manufacturer. The data that we record when the vehicle is manufactured can stay with the vehicle for its life. Because it was done robotically the first time, you know exactly where it was, and you have a means to go back to that exact location and compare any changes that may be occurring during the life of the vehicle. One other advantage of developing this robotic system is that we can do other inspections other than infrared thermography. We could do ultrasound, we could do eddy current, both of which are typically used in aircraft inspections, which allows you to get different information and allows you to compare techniques as well.